Welcome back everybody, this is Wayne Garman. Quick tutorial today on how to take your smoke photos and use the Harris shutter effect. So today we'll be using my Sony a7 III camera with a Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter lens zoomed out to 70 millimeters. We'll be using this Godox X2T trigger to trigger this Godox AD200 flash at 1 8th power. And I've got some incense sticks here for smoke. These are just from Walmart. These are black cherry. They smell pretty good. Just get you something to hold your incense and something under it so it won't burn. And for the background, I've just got this piece of cheap cardboard from Walmart so the light won't spill backwards. And today, I've got this homemade Quaker Oats flash bender. So all I did was cut the hole out in the bottom and I'm just gonna stick it right on the flash. And what that's gonna do is when the flash fires, it'll just focus the light right on the smoke. It won't flash onto the background. So that's what we want. So let's light this thing up. And we'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna set up focus here. So I'm just gonna take my Quaker Oats can and put it about where the incense stick will be. I'm going to use manual focus and focus in on the can. Next, I'm going to use my Godox X2T trigger for Sony to trigger my Godox AD200 flash at 1 8th power. So after I got set up, I took a lot of different shots of the smoke. I like to get the smoke going straight up and going to the right and going to the left. Just take a whole bunch of compositions that you may like. Okay, so after you've selected three of your favorite smoke images, go to Photoshop, File, Scripts, Load files into stack. Find your three images that you like. Select those. Okay. Hit okay. Photoshop will load those in the corner. So the next step is we're going to isolate the red channel on the first image, the green channel on the second image, and the blue channel on the third. So to do this, deselect the visibility on your second and third layer, right click your first image, go all the way up to blending options, uncheck the green and blue channel, okay uncheck the visibility of your first layer check your visibility of your second layer make sure it's selected right click blending options uncheck red and blue hit ok turn off the visibility of your second layer turn on the visibility of your third layer make sure it's selected right click Blending options, uncheck red and green, hit OK. Now turn on the visibility of your second and first layer. Right click on any image, flatten image, crop your photo down, and you're good to go. So if you like this video, Hit like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.